In this Tyrannus quick tip, we're going to show you how to create your own custom splash screen. Now, the splash screen is something that's displayed on the radio when you power it up. There's one on there by default, but a very common modification for new pilots is to change that screen to be something that's unique to them. Now, I did this as part of the firmware upgrade that we did in the very first video of the FR Sky Tyrannus series. So the way you get it onto the radio is actually using that firmware upload process that we've already seen. So in this video, I'll show you where you need to go to get some sample splash screens that you can then edit, a couple of ideas of how you can edit them so that you have that black and white BMP splash screen image on your computer ready for when you upload the firmware to upload your custom screen as well. There are a couple of great places that we can go to to have a look to get some information from. The first one is the open-tx.org website. There's some great information on here about how all this stuff works. But very interestingly, if we go into the download section, you can actually scroll down here and find the Tyrannus smart screens. So you have these images, there are model icons that you can upload onto your radio that we'll look at later in the series. There are Tyrannus and also 9X and 9XR start screens as well. And that's because the screen sizes are slightly different. We're gonna look at the Tyrannus one first. So if I click on that and we go down, here are loads of different black and white images that you could change to be your own particular one. Now. I'm actually going to just pick one that's closest to the kind of thing I'm after. Um, I'm going to pick that one. There we go. Just clicked on it. I'm going to right click and then say save picture as. I'm going to pop it onto my desktop, but I'm also going to save it as a bitmap. That's the important thing. BMP short for bitmap. I'm going to save it. So now we have an image we can play with that's in the right format. And um, it's not very big, so if I kind of zoom in, there we go. You can kind of see it's slightly pixelated. Um, what we can do is then edit the thing. Now, there's a couple options for how we're going to edit this. You can use any graphics editor that's on your machine. You can even use good old Microsoft Paint, which we'll play with in a second just to give you an idea. There are things like, obviously, Paint Shop Pro, Photoshop, and you'll probably have one that you've used to create some basic graphics. What you need to do is, if you haven't got one of those programs or it's not working well for you, there is this thing called GIMP.org, G-I-M-P.org. I'll put a link into the description so you can find it. This is a really nice free graphics editor that you can do some quite sophisticated things on. So I would have a look at this and um, have a go. Um, this will give you much more functionality if you want to do some sophisticated effects. The image itself has to be monochrome, but it will support different layers of grey. But I'd always recommend that the text is opposite from the background to make it stand out clearly. So what we'll do is we'll use Microsoft Paint for this. And I will just drag the file that we've just uploaded into Microsoft Paint. Now I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit because obviously Microsoft Paint, there we go. Now. Uh, in Microsoft Paint, if we wanted to edit this, we can just paint onto the background. So we can pick the brush type that we want. We can make the brush be one pixel wide. So it is literally a single pixel. Um, I would say that's the best idea. We could type in text if we really wanted to, or you can just actually draw what you want. So we're on black ink at the moment, and you can very quickly Obviously, you take a lot more time over this than I am. Okay, and when you've finished it, um, I wouldn't recommend you use something like this, but this this will work. We can then just click Save back to the desktop. Now, what that means is that the image is the right size, and it always has to be 212 pixels wide by 64 deep. So if you're going to create this using another graphics program and you're going to create the image from scratch, you need to start with 212 by 64 pixels. Now we've done that. There is our high quality image. 
And what we would do is now go back and have that in a place we could find it. Go to reflash the firmware onto the radio and select this image as the startup screen and then apply it as part of the firmware update. So hopefully that helps those of you that were wondering how you did this. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying. <laughs>